Pampered Wife. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I love all things clean beauty and today I'm going to talk about what I'm really loving right now. I would say this must be my April's favorites. Not everything is brand new and not everything is brand new to me, but they are all products that I'm absolutely loving. They are from Sephora and Ulta and Credo. And I'm also going to do a first impression of the Venus Williams 11 sunscreen serum. Excuse me. Just a delivery from Amazon. So as I was saying, I'm gonna go over my favorite stuff that I'm loving right now. We've got everything from sunscreen, foundation, eyes, mascara, brows, bronzer, blush, you know, all of it. If you wanna see what I'm loving right now and how I got this look, then please keep watching. Don't be afraid, it's just me without makeup on. Pull my hair back and get some of this sunscreen on my face. So it's 100% sheer mineral, broad spectrum, SPF 35. I wonder if broad spectrum includes um, blue light. I know it's UVA, UVB. Game changing serum combines sun protection with silky hydration. Use daily over your moisturizer or under your makeup. Apply liberally to face and neck 15 minutes prior to sun exposure. Reapply every two hours. Shake well before each use. See, it's good to read the instructions. We have so much today I'm so excited about. This is the only first impression. I never know how much is enough. 25% zinc oxide sunscreen serum. This is one fluid ounce, so I guess you could take it with you to travel. It's glass and it twists off and then it has this push top. Mm. Oh, cool. When you close it, it sucks the push top all the way in. That's how you know it's closed all the way. So it seemed kind of thick and it's supposed to be a serum. So I'm going to shake a little more. All right. Let everything out, push it in. You know, it doesn't say how much. It doesn't say like two dropper fulls or anything. Let's see how liquidy. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's pure liquid. A little, it's like a serum. It's thicker than water, but it's definitely liquidy. So Ugh. Okay. I don't know what that smells like. Okay, now it's settling into more of a scent. I think it's supposed to be, is that vanilla? Oh, it smelled really bad at first. Now it's fine. I hope we can put this on our eyes. I always put sunscreen on my eyes. I feel like that wasn't very, I mean, it was enough to cover my face, but since it's a sunscreen, definitely want to use more and we got to get the neck hmm. boy I'll have to look into that scent situation because it smells nasty to me anyway maybe have you tried this let us know what you think of the scent is mine off I, I gotta look this up I'll put it on the screen or maybe I'll go look it up I'm gonna give it like 15 minutes to settle in while I'm well, to settle in because you know, you want your sunscreen to settle in before you put on makeup, both for texture and for um, integrity of the product. Like you don't want your uh, foundation mixing in with it or something that, I don't know, if they don't work well together, it could change the effectiveness. I wouldn't think with a mineral sunscreen that's the case, but that's what we're gonna do. Plus the everything will lay better on it if my if it's sunk in and my skin isn't all greasy or wet. So this doesn't feel particularly greasy. It actually feels really light and it feels almost like a velvety finish. I don't know if that was enough or not. Um, it's actually snowing here today. I know it's spring in the rest of the country, but oh my gosh, here in Colorado, it's snowing. So I have my matchsticks on for some warmth and I don't need a huge amount of sunscreen, but you know, you still do get sun through the windows. And if I walk my dog or drive in the car and yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna let this sink in and I'll let you know the texture of it. And I'm gonna look up the scent. Be right back. I'm back. So I looked it up and it does not look like this sunscreen has the uh, blue light <clears throat> protection, even though it is broad spectrum UVA and UVB and Interestingly, when I was looking at it, it said leaving the 
product in the heat or cold for brief periods of time will not affect the efficacy of the product, although it may affect the texture. Okay. Then it went on to say, leaving it in the heat for a long period of time will reduce its effect eff effectiveness. So it's a sunscreen. Like, I guess don't take it with you to the tennis court and leave it in your bag. Put it on before you go play tennis and bring a different sunscreen to touch up in two hours because you're gonna just ruin this product otherwise. So for me, I don't play tennis, it's not a problem, but clearly don't take this to the beach or anything like that. Put it on before you leave the house and leave it at home. Now, it's on, you saw the consistency, and it's dried down, not completely dried down. I can still feel a little bit of moisture on my skin, but it's a beautiful velvety texture with a nice, I don't, satin finish, it's a satin finish. It's beautiful, I mean, I don't know if there did, there was any skin blurring or anything, it doesn't claim to do any of that, but so far the texture is beautiful. I just, I really love the texture. And it's fragrance free. I mean, I'm pretty much anti-fragrance and you would know that if you watch me, but they should do something about the way it smells. Again, if you've used this product or you have it, let us know in the comment section. Like, is something funky going on with mine? It doesn't expire until October of 2022, so it should be fine. All right, so moving into some very favorite things. I have been using this Kvos Perfecting Potion. It is a primer, an illuminating primer. I think I'm not going to use it today, though, only because I want to see how this... Um, sunscreen wears under foundation but this under my foundation has just left my skin looking airbrushed and beautiful and illuminated i don't need to use a highlighter with it i mean i probably never need to use a highlighter i mean who needs to use a highlighter but i haven't even used one with it because it does such a beautiful job this is from a petivore box and um i yeah i've been loving this but like i said i'm not going to use it today and I am gonna go in with my current favorite foundation, which is the Kara Weiss Liquid Foundation in the shade F140, which is paper thin. You do need to shake this. I apply it with my fingers. It's a serum consistency. It's got this squeezy top. After I shake it, I squeeze the top, put it back in, put some on the back of my hands. Now this is definitely thicker than the sunscreen I just put on, but it is a thinner liquidy product. And I gotta tell you, I love the scent. At first, someone commented that it smells like Play-Doh and I was like, yeah, I kinda see that. But I get that less and less now. It just smells nice, even almost florally, like a sweet floral, and I don't even like floral, so. It's just a nice light scent. I really love it. When I first got this foundation, it was too light for me and I was mixing in a little bit of the deep bronzy anti-pollution drops to make it darker. But I think now that winter's gone by, it's the right shade for me. I'm so yeah, glad the yard crew came right now. Isn't that nice for my neighbors behind me so we can hear like the lawnmower and the leaf blower and it's snowing out. I mean, that's a real commitment. This is still an absolute favorite, this foundation. It is not new, it's not new to me, I just love it. Now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I've been waffling back and forth between the Kosas Revealer Concealer, whatever the long name is, and the Organic Skin Care Hide and Seek. I love them both and every time I use each one, I'm like, no, this is my favorite. So this one is more, a little creamier, a little more fuller coverage, and the organic skincare is more of like a skincare, a tinted skincare treatment. I think I'm gonna use this one today. I haven't used it in a while, on camera at least, although maybe you feel like I always use it. I find that I like to just sort of tap and spread, and it just does some brightening, a little bit of concealing, Oh, I'm really enjoying that lawnmower situation. Comes in a refillable pot that I think is fantastic. And I have the shade Rose Beige. 
Let's go on with another product that I'm loving. This is another CareWise product. This is, uh, and I don't know the shades. Actually, it says Flush and Glow, Luminous Flush. This is one of those blush and bronzer situations that comes in a pack and it's their refillable packaging. It's really heavy. I would say this is fantastic to travel with because you've got your bronzer and your blush and I've used both of, both of them on my eyes and of course the bronzer all over the face as well and the blush and I've actually even put the blush on my cheeks with a, a little lip gloss on top and it's really pretty. The only thing is it is a little heavy so I'd probably prefer the red packaging, you know, like this red packaging that they have it's just a cardboard and that would be better for travel, but let's go ahead, I'll swatch this for you. This is the blush and it's just a cream blush that effortlessly taps into the skin so nicely. And then the bronzer, I actually thought when I first got this set that this was just too dark for me and I tried to return it and Credo said just keep it. I think I got it from Credo. I mean, they refunded my money, which I kind of feel bad about because them forcing me to keep it made me realize I actually really like it and I use it all the time. So you can see there's a little bit of iridescence in the bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my cheeks. Just tap, tap, tap. See how effortlessly that went in on? I mean, that was just way too easy. This isn't like the RMS products that uh, are all coconut oily and sort of, you know, are hard until you warm them up and they melt in. This one is just a, a more solid cream that you dip into, but you don't have to warm it up and it just melts into the skin beautifully. I mean, I think that looks so natural. And I still have the sheen from the sunscreen and the foundation. The foundation dries down to a similar finish as the sunscreen and it went on just fine over the sunscreen. So, so far so good with that. I'm gonna add a little more blush towards the back of my cheeks here. And I'm sort of going out of order every day. I go in a little bit of a different order. I'm not so disciplined or routine. Usually I do, some, do my eyes first and I just realized one of the products I really wanna use is a contour, but I will go in and use the bronzer first because I have it out here. So I'm just gonna put that just below the very tops of my cheekbones where a highlighter would go. And I'm putting it towards the back of my face, like from the middle of my eye back and up around towards my forehead. Does it make a difference? I think if you have a darker skin tone than me, this could work. You'd probably wanna build it up. And shockingly, it really does work for me. I thought it was too dark, but it's not. I'm gonna put a little bit across the bridge of my nose so it looks like I have been sun-kissed and a little down here just to even out the face and the, along the jawline and the edge of the face there and the neck. But let's go in now with another new product that I am absolutely adoring. And this is the Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques densely packed brush. It's all synthetic, of course. So the Westman Atelier comes in this gorgeous packaging. It's quite, it's not as heavy actually as the Care Weiss. This is heavier than this, but it is a substantial product. I love that it's like fat and cylindrical. I just love like fat, happy things. <laughs> so it's magnetic top and this is what it looks like. It's just soft and really glides on. But actually, I'm going to try applying it with a brush. You, the past times I've used it, I've just drawn it onto my face, but I'm going to use oh, a brush this time. So just underneath the cheekbones and blending upwards to pull my face up, up. And again, around the hairline, 
to make my face seem a little rounder. Not that I wanna look round down here, but just where the natural contours would be, where the natural shadows would fall. And Gucci Westman, I believe, does use a brush with this as well. Gucci Westman is the founder of Westman Atelier, and it's just another effortless product that really looks skin-like. Um, it's no opacity, and I think it's a really versatile shade. If you're fairer than I am, it would work. If you're a little bit deeper, it would work. And I believe she has other shades, at least one more that's deeper. I think this is the lightest one. Her products are unscented. Keep feeling like I wanna blend it in, but there's nothing to blend in. And you can't go wrong with it. Like I've put a, what I thought was a lot on before and it's so creamy and effortless. You just, you know, continue to blend and shear it out and it's not a problem. So I feel like it's, it's expensive, but I feel like it's a great product even for beginners. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a makeup expert by any means, but if you're interested in contouring this is just a really easy one because it blends in seamlessly, it can sheer out, um, it's just so silky smooth and beautiful and just performs. Let's move on to the thing that I have been most excited about and this I actually got from Ulta. These are nude sticks. They are these crayons, magnetic luminous eye color and I've got three shades. I have Angel, Twilight, and smoke, I was just shopping on Ulta, looking through their clean products. I couldn't find this rated on EWG. Not that EWG is the end all be all, but I do like to check products out on there if I'm not familiar with them. And I looked up all the ingredients and this came out great. I love these, like this could be a year end favorite, we'll see, but it is this gorgeous creamy crayon that goes on but it's like a thicker cream that then stays in place. You can pat it out a little or use a brush to spread it out a little. And I've been loving actually a couple ways of wearing it. Now I have to decide what I'm gonna do. I think I'll start with Twilight, which is the medium shade that I got. It almost looks like a khaki gold, but it doesn't so much look like what's on, on the tip here. I guess maybe if I shear it out some, let's see if I spread it out. But you can see it's got gorgeous shimmer to it. These things dry down, they don't crease. Oh, I haven't even talked about the packaging yet. So each individual one comes in one of these. It's metal and it has a mirror on one side and each one comes with its own pencil sharpener. How fabulous is that? And I love you can you know stick this in, sharpen it, and this side can fit on the end. So it's all just really fabulous. If you want, you can do that and then put the top on here and have it as one product in your makeup drawer. I think these are gonna be fabulous to travel with. So like I said, this is the shade Twilight. I'm gonna put it more towards the outer corner and in the crease here. And I'm gonna use this RMS Mm, I don't know the name of it. It's an RM, RMS brush, it says 10E, but it's just a densely packed, firm brush. So I'm just gonna use that to spread this around a little and you can see the product doesn't move much and I didn't put down an eye primer or anything. I mean, I do have the sunscreen on my eyes, but that has dried way down and I just, oh, look how pretty that is. Now, I sheared it out some or spread it around, however you wanna say that. So, I don't want so much of a metallic look in my crease or on the corner. You typically want the metallic in the center, but that was so easy. And you can use your fingers to do that. And then what I've been loving to use is this Kara Weiss Highlighter in Radiance. Now this is like a, a travel size or sample size, or I don't know what they call it. 
I don't even know. I got it with a pack. So I don't even know if it's individually for sale, but I got this and I was like, ooh, that's a terrible color for me. That's for a darker skin shade. That's never gonna work on me, but it does. It's the same texture as everything else. I'm just gonna put it on the back of this hand. It's sort of a taupey color. I mean, anyway, I have been taking it and putting it just in the center of my lid, tapping it in with this nude sticks for a really subtle daytime look. I mean, this isn't so subtle, the, the twilight, but it's just really pretty. So that's one combination I love. And then also I've loved using Angel on top of the twilight in the middle of my eye or in the, um, actually I'll, I think today I'll use it in the corner of my eye and show you how brightening it is. So I'm gonna put that right here. I mean, just check out that metallic sheen. So I'm just gonna put that right on the inner third of my eye and into the inner corner. Should put a little up here. Maybe I'll put a little up here too. Just a dabble, do ya? I mean, I hardly touched it to my skin up here because I really just want a little bit of the reflection. And then here, I'll just tap or press a little bit and do a little bit of blending. But that was it. I mean, how long did that take? I'm sure I could look and see. And doesn't this eye look so much more open and awake than this eye? I mean, it's so pretty. I do want to use the third shade that I got, which is Smoke. And I will put that on here. It's the deepest of the three. It's sort of a brownish gray with, a, you know, leaning a little gold in the metallic section. But I don't know how I came up with that phrasing. But they all three go really nicely together and it's clearly a warmer tone, which I think is beautiful for spring. And I'm just gonna use this as an eyeliner, put it really close into my lashes. And even a little bit on the bottom. I'm just barely touching it. I'm gonna go into the other eye and then we'll move on to brows and mascara. Is it echoey in here? I always ask that. Okay. I just love these. I've never heard of these before. Am I the only one? Have you heard of these? Do you use them? I love them. They're so easy to put on. You can use a brush or you can use your fingers, whichever you prefer. I know people have real preferences about that. I usually like to use my fingers. I just wanted to show you I could use a brush. And if you don't spread them out too much, it's so metallic. I did spread these out some, as you can see. Oh my gosh, I love them. Each of them could be a one color. I look, spread it out more in certain areas and it looks like you have a couple shades on. They have dimension with the metallic and sheen aspects. I just, I can't believe I've never used these before. I can't believe I've never heard of them. Okay, next we are moving into the Kosas medium brown airbrow fluff and hold treatment gel of course the cute kosas packaging that they've been doing that plastic packaging you know none of it goes together the concealers got the yellow and you know the brow gels got the pink and then we had the powder is that in sort of a i think a blue a real pale blue i mean it's all different but i guess it goes together in the sense that it's all plastic and youthful and doesn't match. I don't know. Anyway, that has not deterred me. I have really enjoyed this product as well. I think the shade is great. My brows are a little cool, um, like a deep, a, cool, a deep cool brown, but this warms them up some, especially with a spring look. I think that's really helpful when I'm using all these warm shades and it just looks less harsh. 
I feel like when I use a color that actually matches my brows, they just look harsh on my face because they're so cool. And if I press a little harder, I get some on my skin, so some more pigment, you know, here where I want it. Otherwise, I'm fluffing, like it says. And the hold is pretty good. Definitely, I don't lose any of the color over the day. Uh, it, my brows will fall some. It's not like a hairspray hold, but I hate those kinds of products. So this, to me, has been really great. I usually use the Beauty Counter Tinted Brow Gel product, which is, theirs is waxier, and this is definitely adds more of a fluff to it my brows and I really like this shade. I just feel like this gives like the perfect amount of pigment and fluffiness. Now I mentioned this before, this is a sunspot that I have. So that's not where product got out of hand and I spread it up there. I'm on estrogen and estrogen causes melasma. So you really wanna make sure you're using sunscreen if you are on estrogen. So that's what that is. But what a difference, doesn't it look so nice? Like it's so fun, I'm loving this makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with a powder because I'm not at all tacky, but I just wanna set everything in place. And I've tried multiple powders. This is still my favorite, the 100% pure bamboo blur setting powder. I love the packaging, this netting that they have on top to, I don't know, so you never get too much product out. I love the scent. You're not supposed to breathe this stuff in and I don't even know if it's scented or that's just how it smells. It does come in different tints. I've only ever tried the translucent. I believe that's what it's called. Let me double check. I can't see, but I believe this is translucent and I'm gonna tap out the product under my eye just to make sure I don't have any creasing. Yeah, I don't think anything's creased. I mean, this foundation is fabulous. It really doesn't crease or settle into my fine lines. So I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and just bounce it into this whoop, tip here. Tip here, I'm gonna bounce it into the netting. I try to evenly coat my brush, tap it off. See a lot of it floating up. And then I just tap it in where I want it. Under my eyes, around my nose, and up here in the center of my forehead. And then I'll just sort of wipe it off or you know spread it out but i definitely don't want to get it too much here because i want some natural shine to come through there i just love this powder because it's mattifying where i want it to be mattifying and it does dry the product down some but it doesn't make my face look dry and cakey and it is translucent I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I love this powder. This is my favorite powder that I've ever tried. I also really like the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder, I think it's called. But for all over my face, I've just really preferred this one, including under my eyes. But now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with this PYT blush. Oh my gosh, where's the shade? All right, I'll have to put that on the screen. I don't know what shade this is. It's just like the Care Weiss blush shade, but with a little bit of white in it. You know, it's just lighter. I don't know that you can see that. It looks really, maybe even a little more pink. But what I found this does is, not only does it look really nice, it does sort of what the Kosas Cloud Set Setting Powder does in the sense that it blurs the skin. It's just beautiful. And it's a little paler, like I said, than the blush that I already have on. So it just does a little bit of brightening. Now it is powdery, you know, you, you kind of want to tap it off. It will kick up all over. You can see some has gotten there, but oh my gosh, I, I've never, this is my first PYT blush and I'm just loving it. I'm loving the texture. I'm loving the price. I'm loving the look. Now for mascara, this is the Merit, is it Merit Beauty or just Merit? 
mascara. They say it's a tubing mascara. I don't know that I agree with that, but I do love it. This is a newer brand at Sephora. It's a clean brand. I actually wanted to get their foundation stick as well, but they were sold out in my shade. And I think this might, for me and my mind and memory, compete with the Ilia Limitless Lash, if I got that name right, because this is just provides like a feathery, separating mascara that does some lengthening. And I think it's just a beautiful everyday mascara. Now I've said that about a lot of mascaras, like it's great for every day, but I mean it for this one in the sense of it just really makes your lashes look better, but doesn't look like you're trying too hard. It doesn't look too um, volumizing or obnoxious. I just feel like it curls my lashes, it separates my lashes, it lengthens my lashes, it wears amazing all day, even with a mask and the moisture of me breathing and the you know moisture coming up. This hasn't left anything on my face from wearing a mask all day. And look at the difference. I mean, my I just look so much more open and it washes off nicely. I wouldn't I, don't, I would not describe this as tubing though. To me, tubing, when you wash them off, they come off like little tubes. They just like kind of fall off with water. I've not noticed any tubes with this, but I don't care what they call it. It's a great mascara and it, it's an affordable price available at Sephora. I'm just thrilled. When I first used it, it did, it, I did smell chemically, if that makes sense. It's unscented but it does smell chemically if you're sniffing it and looking for it. I didn't notice today when I put it on my eyes, this is probably the fifth time I've worn it, so maybe that's fading a little or I'm just less sensitive to it. That's the only thing, but once you apply it, the scent is gone, and like I said, I really only smell it when I sniff the wand. Let's move on to lips. Actually, you know what, before we do that, I'm just gonna, I don't need a highlighter but I'm gonna go in with the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick in Nectar. And this is another one that is just so beautiful to apply. And it looks like it's peachy and maybe would have too much pigment to it, but it doesn't. And this one I do just put on the skin and it's like, it just melts into your skin. It's so glorious. And it's a lit from within look. Um, it's not gonna be, one of those really glamorous highlighters and it's not gonna draw attention or anything. It's just what it is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. It's really silky. And obviously it applies nicely on top of powder. I could have also done it before the powder, but then the powder might have dampened it down and that's no good. You know, I like to put this on my lips as a moisturizer. Mm. It does dry down on the face. It's a little bit, I wouldn't even call it tacky, but you can feel it on your face when you first apply it, but it does dry down. And on the lips, sometimes I'll eat, just use um, a, a lip liner, fill in my lips and put this on top, or I'll just wear it like this. It's so comfortable and it's all safe and multi-use, even though it is a highlighter. So I feel totally good about that. But I am gonna use dun, 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 two lip products. We have the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Buff. I don't know that these really work better than any other lip liners. I love Fit Glow Beauty and all of their skincare ingredients that they have and everything. I like this shade. It's just a perfect everyday shade. And I don't know that it wears better than other lip liners or stays put longer. I haven't really found that to be the case, but it makes me feel finished by using it. I just feel more mature. My mom always used lip liner and I never understood why. Of course, now I have these lines here that my lipstick will gather in and I think, huh, there is a useful reason for lip liner other than looks, but I'm enjoying using it. So I'm gonna put some of this on. I'm not gonna color in my whole lip, but this would make a beautiful matte lip just on top of a lip moisturizer. Can you see that? Maybe I will color it all in, let's see. I'm 
Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do a travel video, but a makeup travel video is what I meant. Um, I mean, you could just take this and a lip moisturizer and be done. I mean, I just, oh, it's so pretty. I love this nude look. So I have the new Kira Weiss Matte Naturally Liquid Lipstick in the shade Blossoming. It's like a peachy nude, I guess. This really reminds me of the Honest Beauty Off Duty Liquid Lip is the color. That one's a little rosier, but that's what this reminds me of. And let's put it on. So you see, it's just lightened up my lip. It looks like it has a little sheen when I look in the camera, but it, well, it, it kind of does, I guess, but it'll dry down some, it will be matte. It'll stain my lips a little bit, not a lot. Of course, it is a lighter shade. It'll stay for about an hour. I mean, I'm always eating and drinking and talking, so maybe it would last on you longer. Like maybe at work, if you weren't chatting all day and, eating all day like I do, um, it might last longer, but it's really comfortable. It is as comfortable as any lipstick, not a moisturizing lipstick, but any lipstick. I'm not talking matte lipstick, I'm talking regular lipstick. This is a run, don't walk product. I would definitely get this. It doesn't come in that many shades. Um, there's a red, there's this one. Ooh, and there's I think more of a plum that I actually might get. Now, it does dry down, but it doesn't dry down all the way in the sense that if you wear a mask and the mask touches your lips, it will come off some on the mask. I'm just letting you know because, you know, it's a matte lip, you think it's just gonna dry down and that's gonna be it, but it's actually kind of moisturizing for, or it's very moisturizing for a matte lip. So it doesn't dry all the way down and suck all the moisture out of your lips so that if you touch your lips or wipe your lips, no pigment will come off. Just an FYI, but it also has that beautiful scent. I don't know that it's exactly the same as the foundation, but it does have a beautiful scent similar to that. So I guess that's the Kara Weiss scent. Anything else? Oh, last thing. This is another Fit Glow product. It is their Day Essence, and it does provide, supposedly, I don't, I don't really know what all it does. I do know it provides blue light protection, which is from your screens, your computers, and honestly, it just, it's, it's just what I expect heaven to smell like. I think I've said this before. I thought heaven would smell like chocolate chip cookies, but now I know it, it's got to smell like this. And it's not particularly a finishing spray, but I use it as a finishing spray. Oh. smells so good and it will set everything down and I found all of this wears beautifully all day anyway so I'm gonna take my hair down I'll be right back to discuss final thoughts here is the final look I love it for every day I just absolutely love it the standout product to me are the nude sticks eye crayons I know that's not what they're called but I am in love with those. They are so easy and creamy and they don't budge. They stay all day. They're compact. They have their own sharpener. I love the containers they come in. I've used them to organize different things. You could put paper clips or jewelry or I actually, of course, have makeup in mine. Love them. I still love the Care Weiss Foundation. That has been a favorite all winter and it looks like that's not really gonna change. I've been really impressed with the Westman Atelier products. They are expensive, but you're paying for luxury packaging. And honestly, the formulas are beautiful. They just apply themselves and are so easy to use. I'm loving the Kosas brow product i mean the fluff in the shade it does come in clear i don't know that i would get the clear which i was originally going to get because the hold isn't that fantastic as the day goes on but it also depends on your brows i mean mine like to kind of go down especially on this side well it may have already started happening no i don't know i don't think so anyway the hold isn't fantastic but it does add fluff and pigment and 
it's it's one of the best I've ever tried. Oh, and I didn't even show you when you close it all the way, it lines up perfectly so that it says Kosas. Can you see that? Like the the imprint, the raised writing. I, that's just a cute little touch that I think is really nice. What else do we have here? I know I'm not going in any order, and yes, I have been drinking my coffee. My sister got me this mug at an art festival, and it's my favorite mug. She actually got me two of them because. Well, see, you can see the lipstick because I love them so much, obviously. But you can see the lipstick has come off some, but it's still on my lips. So that's what I mean by it will dry down, but it's not going to totally be gone. Plus, I did apply the moisturizing product on my lips before I put it on. Just keep that in mind. But I love this matte lip. Super comfortable. I just love how it looks. I love the shade. Typically, I wear a brighter lip and a gloss. I typically go to a gloss, but this has really changed my opinion of mattes because any other matte I've tried really is too dry for me. So I may be picking up another shade of that. Love it. And oh, I said about the Guzman, uh, Guzman, Westman Atelier products already. The Merit Mascara. Oh my gosh. Is anybody talking about this? I know it's a newer product. Look at, look at it. You can't build it up much more than this. And that's why I say it's for daytime, but you know what? This could be a nighttime look too. Add a little more shimmer to my eye. If I didn't sheer out those eye crayons, they would be more metallic and sparkly or I could put a little more highlighter on and this could be a total night look. Um, the mascara, I'm loving it. I love how it wears. It's just so great. That sounded so weird when I said wear. It sounded really Southern, didn't I? Wear. I'm just looking over everything. Oh, the PYT blush, as I said, it's just, a lovely shade. I didn't have anything like that in my collection and what it does to the skin when you apply it is just so beautiful. It, it really blurs everything and of course the 100% pure bamboo blur powder has been a favorite. I'll just keep trying other powders till I see if I like one better and I still love my organic skincare under eye concealer. Skin company. Organic skin company. Don't want to get that wrong. Now the SPF that I tried by Eleven, uh, of course, I can't tell you how it performs. Did it? Was it a great sunblock? Did I not get sunburn or anything? But I can tell you it worked great as a primer. My makeup went on beautifully over it. It dried down to a beautiful velvet finish. I still had a skin-like appearance. It wasn't thick or greasy. The texture was fantastic. Just remember to shake it and don't leave it in the heat. And hopefully that scent or smell will dissipate as I use it because holy cow, that was uh, that was surprising. Now, I don't smell it anymore and I didn't smell it once it started to dry down. Just upon application, I smelled it. But I mean, hopefully as I've opened the product and used it more, that scent will go away. Ew, my hair. Is that any better? Thing? Oh yeah, the uh, Fit Glow Lip Liner. Like I said, I don't know but using it makes me feel a little fancy and finished and that's always fun. So I think that's everything. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these, what you think, what you recommend I try next, cause you know there's gonna be a next. And I have more products that I got from Sephora on the sale that I have not shown you today. I just wanted to go over the ones I'm absolutely loving. Again, they're not all from Sephora. I guess some were from Credo and some were from Ulta, but this was just so much fun for me. I've just been loving these. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Share it with a friend. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.